this particular car wash, they found their place in the market by aligning with schools. So that's how they recruited their talent. Um, but it was all built around the fundraisers that happen year round for all of the, the sporting events or what have you, trips that they need to go on. So again, this particular car wash, they didn't build their brand on washing cars. So okay. it, it, it just was wild to me when I pulled up their website because it, you didn't know. Didn't have anything to do with washing cars. Well, you could tell it was a car wash, but it really didn't have anything to do with the specs and the, you know, the way that dries the car and don't use the rags and it uses the wind. It, like it didn't, nothing about that. It was all about um, their community placement. It was about um, helping high schoolers, you know, with career, but also fundraising. But then, you know, what, what that in turn did for the business is it created a different space in, for, for them in the market. Because if, you know, you have a, a city that's flooded with car washes, how do you show up differently? Yeah. Well, this is brilliant. Yeah. You know, because who, what school doesn't have car washes to raise money? Right. So they just turned it into that. So then the students work there, but then they sell these cards that then has repeat business come back. So you're talking about how this car wash got uh -huh. acquired talent. Talent. Is by going, getting in front of them and helping them with car washes. We'll get, they have. To build a brand for that. They Yeah, they built a brand around just that, that um, whole fundraising thing with, with schools, you know, so they aligned with all the schools in the city. I mean, but then that also then in turn gave them talent because then when you have students involved in those fundraising things, then they work there for you. I mean, it just solved a lot of problems and created a great uh, business strategy huh. uh, as well as a marketing strategy for them. So it kind of blew my mind, you know, when you think about how should a business show up or how should we market, that's pretty brilliant. Because what are you gonna do? Have the best, better nozzles than the guy next to you? I mean, yeah. like how do you make yourself look different as a car wash? Different water, right. I mean, that you have work. like the best cars coming out of there? Like, yeah. Yeah, like how do you separate yourself? Yeah, so they found the best way to separate themselves. Right. It just was really interesting. When have you seen that? Um, it's just like really surprised you the the the, the angle that they took. A, a company that sold mulch for around your house, right? And it smells that's, great, right? That's kind of a commodity, right? Like yeah. it smells good, or like here's the bag, or it's this price. So this guy. Like a barista, mm -hmm. he was like, like a barista goes, this is the bean, this is how long it was roasted, this is the grind, this is the pressure on the espresso machine, oh, it's perfect, there's this thing, and, and there was this guy sitting at a table, and he goes, this mulch, 80% oak, oak from Kentucky Mountains, Wow, what in the world? Like, look at the grains on the... And he... It was every nerd thing you could think about, like, a piece of bark. And he was talking about, like, history of this and that. And he was really into it. And he had different bags. And one bag is like, this is no good stuff. Like, this is the worst. And he's like, this is how into mulch we get. And so you're like, I do get into coffee, right? Right. Like, so which mulch do you want? Like, in your head, there's this guy going, this is why this mulch is completely perfect. And you're like, okay, okay I'll, I'll take that stuff. I mean, right. well, because you kind of forget. It really is. It does yeah. serve a different purpose right. rather than just making your house pretty. Yeah. Really, it should. And beside the fact that when you get it home, it's still a wet mess and you cut the bag and you get it all over yourself and you're like, uh, and it's like, same same deal. Mm -hmm. but you're not thinking that when yeah, you, you go like, look at two smell brands. It then. Yeah. And you're like, you get your hands all in it. Yeah. Roll, yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. Okay. That was one that separated. Um, what's the first? What's the first thing you think about when you think of a, of a good marketing campaign? Uh, the Sherman commercial. Okay. Wow. When I was younger, I'm not sure how many people that will resonate with this day and age, but um, I don't. There was something so fun about that. They took toilet paper. Yeah. Because you know, I think at that time, really, there wasn't really a lot of brands in toilet paper. It was like just toilet right. paper, right? Right. Well, Charmin, I mean, they they came, stepped up to the plate. 
I just rem- what I remember is that it was fun. They made like toilet paper is fun. I wanted the toilet paper because I wanted to just put it all in my clothes. You know, because what they did was they stuffed themselves with toilet paper. Yeah. And I'm not sure if they were even... Re- I can't even remember that like part. I just remember it was fun and nobody got hurt. And it was like kid-like. And and even as a kid, like I'm like, oh, I want Charmin. Like, why am I thinking about toilet paper? So that, I don't, that to me was like one of my favorite. 